Sweet Lou Dunbar has been with the Harlem Globetrotter organization for over 40 years, first joining as a player, an ambassador, and currently serves as a head coach. In 2019, Dunbar became only the eighth person ever to have his jersey retired by the Harlem Globetrotters. Well, my journey, um, my basketball career before I became a Globetrotter goes ass. Um, I started in Minden, Louisiana, and I progressed from there to the University of Houston. And from the University of Houston, I was drafted by Philadelphia 76ers, but I decided not to take that route and went and played one year in Europe in Switzerland, Lugano, Switzerland where we won the Swiss championship and I had the opportunity to play in the European Cup. Afterwards, I journeyed back to Houston, Texas and signed a free agent contract with the Houston Rockets, where I went to the Summer Pro League with them, played with them out in Los Angeles for a while. And some people from the Globetrotters saw me playing in the Summer Pro League and invited me to the Harlem Globetrotters training camp. A big impact the Globe Trials for me, uh, being on the team, uh, a lot of people always ask the question about who are the famous people you met, uh, you know, this and that. But the biggest impact for me was having the opportunity to play with some of my childhood heroes. I had the opportunity to play Mel Lock Lemon, uh, Curly Neal, Marcus Haynes, and Geese Osby, and they all became good friends. And, uh, you know, they were, of course, a couple of years older than I would, but it, it was it was a great honor for me to be able to play with those guys. And I knew uh, a lot of people might not knew who I was, but people in my family knew who they were, so they you know they were proud of me as well. Well, I think the Globe Trials has contributed to the Black history uh, tremendously. Uh, because of all the sacrifice the guys, my predecessors had to go through, you know, um, when the racial racial thing in the South, when they had to play for d different audiences, they had to play for a white audience, and then they had to play for a black audience. I mean, they, those are the guys who have sacrificed their lives doing things of this nature when they were unable to stay in a hotel when they had to stay with black families, you know, to go around the world and perform for people and make people happy. They suffer so much, you know, so it's just their big part of this Black History Month. Kudos to guys like Curling and Geese and Tex. They really didn't harp on that. You know, they, they never really harped on the social injustices, um, you know, but uh, but me being who I am and um, having been laid down, down in the middle of a street, being accused of robbing the jewelry store, you know, I can tell you that doesn't feel nice when you're having guns pointed at you from all different angles just because you're black. And, uh, and the thing was that there were three black men of average height. I'm only 16. I don't know where that's average if you're Watusi, you know. But, uh, and I'm 16, where they made us lie down in the middle of the street and put us in different police cars, um, you know. So just because we were black. It's actually an honor and a privilege uh, to be able to say that I played with the Harlem Globetrotters for X amount of years, 24 years, and I've coached the team, the organization, uh, because I think the organization itself has done so much, not just for the black community, but just for the United States in general, uh, being the ambassadors of goodwill. I, I mean, the things that we do and that we continue to do, we go out to spread joy and laughter all over the world and at the same time, doing great basketball at the same time. I mean, you know, we go to hospitals, visit kids, uh, to the terminal, 
how we go into schools, um, anti-bullying. There's all the things that we do. It's not just out there on the basketball court. Um, I could probably go on and on for, you know, then all the great things that we do. Uh, but it's, it's true. It's truly hard of being a black guy and be a part of an American institution playing for the Harlem Globetrotters and being a part of this organization. <laughs>